Today is one of my hit days. Uh, it's a functional training. I'm gonna sweat like a pig. I do pre-workout, I only do aminos. No stimulants, no anything, just stay hydrated. The aminos, I sip on them pre-workout. I sit on them throughout my workout. I'm just doing a circuit of a bunch of different exercises and then I take a break. And I, for as long as it takes me to fully recover and feel like I can go through that again, I do that and then I go for another round. I'm gonna jump rope for one minute. I'll do 10 kettlebell swings. From there, I'll do 20 pound ball slams. I'll do 15 of those. I'll go into push-ups on the bar right there. Whenever I do the push-ups, you'll see me, I'll lift my legs into my stomach, so it's a push-up and an ab exercise. After that, I'll go into leg lifts or sit-ups. I'll do 15, 20 leg lifts or 35 sit-ups. Come back, squat presses with the barbell, and then I'll do 15 burpees. I'm just doing as much hard shit as possible, and I'm gonna try not to die. All right, did my quick warm up, stretched out, get the blood flowing. Start round one, start with the jump rope. I time it and see how long it takes to recover and go back at it. Uh, let my heart rate get under control. I go by feel. If I'm feeling it, if I need another 30 seconds, another minute, because my goal is to get better at this. I'm not, I'm just fing going. And I think that that's, that's the best way to get started with anything. You know, learn as you go, learn your body, pay attention to the exercises that you're choosing and how they're playing a role in your performance. Not overcomplicating things is, is everything to me, whether it's with food, training, this type of training, weight training. If you're a beginner, if you're just learning, the best thing to do is go do it and pay attention to how you respond. First round is always like, you're there, you're all pumped up, but now I'm like Fuck. Like after you're done, you're not sweat, after you're done the first round, six minutes, six and a half minutes. And I'm like, man, I was breathing heavy. The burpees fucking kill at the end. I fucking hate burpees, but they are a necessity. So like at the end, then all right now, I'm soaked compared to what I was three minutes ago. Now I'm like, all right, here it is. Can't, can't back out now. Go to just, gotta just fucking let it rip. That one got me. What goes through your mind when you want to quit? Don't. Just don't. 
You're not gonna die. Just go. That's that. It's like in bodybuilding whenever you're pushing yourself on, on like a failure set. But in this, it's, it's your lungs that wanna give out. And I can feel it now, but now that I'm recovered, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, next set's gonna be way worse. But the next time I do this workout, I mother, I'll eat this mother I'm getting better, even if it's little by little, little by little. Life will fucking beat the fuck out of you. It will just, it will mangle you if you let it. Between just toxic people, your own demons in your own head, all the shit that you think about, deal with personally. Like, bro, it'll fuck you up. That's why you need good people. That's why you need outlets. This is therapy to release the negativity, the negative emotions. And when you're in the gym, I don't give a who you are. You're in the gym, like, supposed to be positive like you see somebody losing some weight say Fuck yeah dude I have a motto in life goes along with the hard-working mother I don't have problems just more work to do my mind is good my health is good I don't have real fucking problems. Every little issue that I come up with in my head, all of it, those are just work. You have to work through them in life. Just don't fucking quit. Don't do it. If it takes you longer, you know, if all of a sudden my time on this, if the next set takes me a whole fucking minute longer, I don't give a fuck. Do the fucking work. And God damn it, be proud of the work that you fucking do. Your name's on it.